I respectfully acknowledge that I am standing on the unceded traditional territory of the Comox First Nation. And this video is all about the Package Manager, which in the JQT environment I can access through this menu up here. We'll take a little look at that later. But first, let's look at Pac-Man, which is sort of its nickname. And Pac-Man, uh, and if you go to the wiki, you can do a search for Pac-Man. And, uh, and you'll get all this information about it. Essentially what it is, is J provides you the core of J, but past that, you have to actually download the extra libraries through the Package Manager, or Pac-Man. And in the console, you can access Pac-Man this way, you can install. In fact, if you install J on your system, chances are you used this JPKG, which is Pac-Man. So it's install and everything. And so that gives you your base standard, all the add-ons and everything. So chances are you already have this, but once you have it, you do have to keep it up to date. So if you want to use it from the console on the command line, there's all this information and it's in the wiki under Pac-Man. Now, if you want to use it through something like JQT, let's go back to J, um, you do it through the menu and I'm just going to blow this up a little bit and let's look up here tools package manager there we go when you get this full list of all the add-ons that are available and there's quite a few of them in a lot of different areas on this side what it shows me is the status so it tells right now I'm seeing everything now I can take a look and see what's upgradable Nothing's upgradable because I keep things upgraded. What's not installed? Nothing is not installed. I keep everything installed. Uh, and then install will look the same as all. Now that's one way of looking at things. You can also look at things by category, which is kind of neat. You can look at graphics and you can look at uh, debug, which is also a popular one. A lot of different things here. If you click on something here you can get extra information in the bottom part of this pane so down here I can look at a log it tells me it's already been updated uh, I can look at the summary which gives me sort of a couple of lines about what it does um, I can look at the manifest which tells me what scripts are involved in it and that's under files so sometimes under some of these folders you'll have numerous scripts this particular one only has one but sometimes you have numerous ones and then over here this is really neat you can click on the wiki and if the take that off zoom if the application has a wiki page and a lot of them do this one has a particularly good one Henry Rich has done a lot of work on uh, dissect he created it and he's done a lot of work documenting it but uh, you can take a look at all this information there and that's all accessible through that menu from the package manager so that is the package manager it's a thing to know about uh, it's the first step in getting these add-ons downloaded to your system if you don't download them of course they're not there to use and that's the package manager hope you find that helpful